a lot of the ladies have been asking for a booty specific workout. Uh, actually, one of my neighbors used the term derriere. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do six exercises. We're gonna do two circuits, and each circuit's gonna have three exercises. So we'll do the first circuit three times through, then we'll do the second circuit three times through. What I'm gonna record today is just the six exercises. Just make sure that you do the circuits three times through. Remember, always have your plan written down before you start. And for this circuit, you're gonna need a mat, you're gonna need a resistance loop or a resistance band, and you're gonna need a weight. You can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. I'm using a kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell. First exercise is a glute bridge. When you drive up, I want you to think about taking your hips through the ceiling and really squeeze your glutes at the top. You also want to have a straight line from your shoulders, through your spine, through your hips, out through your knees. Donkey kicks are next. It is always good if you're going to do an exercise on your back in the horizontal plane, flip over and do it in the opposite plane and stay in horizontal. With the donkey kicks, you want to think about taking your heel, the flat part of your foot, and pushing it through the ceiling. And always, of course, contract that glute at the top. Neutral spine, right? So we don't want any of this, and we don't want any of this, okay? Nice neutral tabletop spine. Two more. our band and we're going to do banded kickbacks. That's the first circuit. Do each exercise 12 times through. 
First one was a glute bridge. Second one was donkey kicks. Remember to push those heels through the ceiling. Third one, banded kickbacks. You put that band the furthest away from the moving joint, makes it harder. As you move it closer to the moving joint, it makes it a little bit easier. So adjust that distance of that band away from the moving joint to suit your current fitness level. Second circuit, we're gonna do a sumo squat with a goblet hold. We're gonna do lateral lunges, and then we're gonna do speed skaters. Speed skaters might seem like an advanced movement. So what you can do again, like I always say, is tailor the speed of the movement and also the spacing, how far you move your feet to suit your current fitness level. Let's get started on the second circuit. For a goblet squat, you're gonna hold this like a goblet. Okay, in sumo squat, you're gonna turn those feet out. Neutral spine. Every time you stand up, squeeze that booty. I'm going to show you an alternate way to hold the kettlebell. And there's 12. We're going to move on to lateral lunges now. One leg stays straight, moving leg is the one that bends. slide this way so you can see on that first set you saw the straight leg, the second set I want you to see the leg that's bending. That's the lateral lunge. Make sure that your moving leg is the one that's doing all the work. So the leg that's going out to the side and bending is going to control your movement on the way down and it's also going to propel you back to the start position. The last one is speed skaters. Remember I talked about this being a slightly more advanced movement. Don't get frustrated. Just try it. Do the best you can. You can leave me comments and questions within this post and I'll be happy to message you individually to help you out. This is going to still work the booty and the legs, but it's also going to give your heart a nice little beat too. Just like a speed skater. noticed what I was doing with my arms as I was stretching, I was trying to reach both sides of the gym. That's also a really good T-spine conditioner while you're working on your cardio, while you're working on your bute, while you're working on your quads and, and hamstrings, adductors, abductors. That's why the speed skater is one of my favorite moves. You can tell by my breathing that it actually got my heart rate up. So again, six exercises for the booty slash derriere centric workout.
leave me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer them. Remember to stay safe. If something doesn't feel right, stop. Most important, have fun.